Now we're not muted. And we're back. Turkey's not happening for tomorrow, but not a big deal. Is that the new ordinator helm from a texture mod? Or is it... It's glitched. The ordinator helms are glitched. It still looks cool. But not as cool as it would look. I'm gonna need to get a fix for that. Hold on. I gotta write that down. I gotta fix the ordinator helm. Not gonna worry about that today. That will be for some other time. And while I'm thinking about it. Refresh the Twitch browser. There we go. So ordinator helms are a little bit messed up, but it's not too glaring. Um, so the, these are just a few shops, right? Buzz Bug Dub Shabba. What do you What do you sell? You sell muffins, booze, and plants. Alright, seems respectable. Here, have plants. And... You don't buy soul gems. Alright. Well, have plants then. 37 gold worth of plants. Are you an armor? I think he's an armor. He is. He has an orcish helm. All right. Don't know where you got it, sir, but an orcish helm. That's awfully nice. I don't have the gold for it, but orcish greaves. Ooh. I want those orcish greaves. That would be would be nice. Clovian fur gauntlets and a Clovian fur helm. No, thank you. And nothing else really of use. All right. And I can't sell a soul gem to you. You probably won't take it. Ordinator armor is Three still gods, one true faith. It's some of the coolest armor in all other scrolls. I really, I wish they would have brought it back in uh, in Dragonborn in the Dragonborn DLC on Solstheim. Just to have one ordinator oh, on the island. Or maybe have like a a former ordinator whose like armor is all like worn if with age and patched in places and a little mismatched. That'd been cool. After the fall of the tribunal, he's he's kind of I don't know, maybe taking up the mantle of a paladin or, or of sorts or a uh, crusader. Maybe even a bounty hunter. Someone's house Hello, what do you sell? You sell throwing stars. You have a very specific market. Good on you, catering to niche services. What day is today? Alright. So I know there's Danny's Den or whatever its place is called. There's probably beds there. If you want to stay there. And this is Bernadette's Imports. 
what does Bernadette? What do you have? Uh, what are you selling? It looks like imports from Mornhold. A lot of it. Because you got an ebony crossbow. That looks nice. An adamantum longbow. Also very nice. Ebony Tanto, Ebony Throwing Stars, Glass Spear, Glass Throwing Knife, Silver Katana. Hmm. It is slightly better than my sword. And within my price range. Price range. Silver Longbow, Silver Saber, so that's... Okay, so whatever mod added you... Gave me my silver saber. Then there's the Ashlander Shield Green, which is crappy. <laughs> but then there's the Adamantum Shield, which is really nice. You also Norder Trollbone, Leather Head Wrap, Blind Ring of Blind Faith, Constant Effect, Fortify Luck 20 points on self, but Blind 50%. <laughs> That's. That's interesting. It's like the boots of blinding speed. I like it. It's expensive, but I like it. Or the Swordsman Amulet. Fortify Long Blade, 5 points. So there's some more robes. Uh, I like my current one. That one's for the annoying guy. Uh, at the Sedanine office. Do you take soul gems? You do take soul gems. Well, I'll sell you a soul gem. Can I get four gold for that? Four. Four gold. Uh, that's important. Oh, I should be able to get five. Um, nothing else I really want to sell. Uh. And this stuff falls too useful to sell. Um, I'm not going to sell any armor because I'm wearing it all. Clothing. I kind of want that silver katana. It does two more damage. In condition 1500. Oh, it's the, the condition is slightly better. But I would have to sell my silver saber. The silver katana. I'm at 500 gold. Mm, no, we're gonna wait. Fine. Four gold for that soul gem. Hard bargain. There's a warehouse. Someone praying? Hello, you're probably a tribunal priest. That is someone's house. Alright, let's head into the city proper. I don't need my helm on. If we're in the city, I don't need the helm. I don't expect to be in uh, heavy fighting inside the city grounds. It's nice, actually. We get a little bit of breeze to our head cool off a bit. Hello. What do you do here? Phew. Hot day, isn't it? It is warm in my room. Uh... It was much warmer day today. It was in the 60s when it's been in the 40s recently, so. It did warm up quite a bit. Uh, what is your background? I've been a gondolier for, oh, about 60 years now, since before this was like it is now. Ha! I remember when they built this place. Built the place. Well, this bit anyway. I had the old Vendum Dren back in the day. Uh, back the other day. Off to some official opening. It's alright, actually. Didn't say much. Good good tipper. 
Uh, couldn't say the same for his brother, though. Sad to say. Here. Uh, you're not one of the Kamana types, are you? Sorry. I was shooting my mouth off. Didn't mean to cause offense. Wow, the manner of his speaking is something I am not used to. Uh, what can you tell me about him? The Argonian Morong Tong? Not many Argonians of the Morong Tong. I look for him at the Black Shoal Corner Club in the Lower Waste Works of the Foreign Quarter, or at Josaba's books on the same level of the Lower Waste Works as the Black Shoal Corner Club. Alright. It's the latest rumor. What could kill two ordinators before they can draw their weapons? Slit their throats. Happened right here in Vivek. Must be a sorcerer or vampire. The Office of the Watch and the Halls of Justice is worried. Not sending their own ordinators out after this killer. The rumor is the Office of the Watch is looking for outside help. You're an outlander. Did you know five other outlanders were killed in just the same way? But who who has the motivation to kill outlanders and ordinators? I believe that would be Ashlanders don't like ordinators or foreigners. So let's go see if we can meet this Argonian. While I'm thinking about it, um, voice of the Emperor might come in handy. Yeah, your helms are creepy without the right face on there. Foreign corner, lower waste works. Ordinator there. Let's see, that is to the upper. This is not the Black Shulk. This is the Black Shulk corner. Alright. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to remember what armor he has. That's cool. The scale. I welcome the friend of my friend, Safia Kamel. Uh, but I wish to go to my friend's bookstore, and these troublesome fools are in the way. I have tried to persuade them, but they, they hate my race, and I fear there will be violence. Perhaps if you speak to them, be careful, and be ready. I'll be ready. Um, your friend's bookstore, where do you want to go? My friend Josaba the Khajiit has a bookstore. Josaba's rare books. If you agree to travel together with me there, I will answer your questions. But before we go, I beg you, you must try to persuade these troublesome fools to leave us alone. Always I fear they will attack us the moment we go to leave. Ah, who are these troublesome fools you speak of? The sight of a free Argonian offends these racist thugs. It would tarnish my Morong Tong honor to slay them. Uh, I don't want to troll my friend. Uh, Solaris Gomez by fighting in his club. But if I must go to my friend's bookstore, where we can talk in peace. Uh, if you have a way with words, perhaps you could talk with them. Or, if you have a way with money, they might be bought. Otherwise, I fear there may be bloodshed. Well, we are Imperial. We do have the voice... Of the Emperor. Now, who's causing trouble? Is that you? Am I talking to you, Fetcha? No, I'm talking to that filthy lizard, so push off. Filthy lizard, right? What are you, some kind of filthy lizard lover? Do you want to give your friend a big kiss? I don't know why you're immediately going to that, but, uh, alright. You. Filthy lizard. Yeah, we wish to leave to go to Josaba. No, we want. You're gonna say something, blah, blah, blah. This rotting piece of trash ought to be chained up somewhere, not running around loose. That's your opinion. What can I do for you? You have no dialogue. Awesome. You. Get out of my way, and wah. Uh, we got issues with the filthy, filthy lizard here. Well, that's hard to say. His kind aren't welcome here. He belongs in the swamp with the rest of them. Alright, so it looks like the first guy is the guy I actually need to persuade you. Because we... You keep having that. Alright. So we'll save just in case. 
There. Hey, look, it's none of my business. Folks want to talk to a filthy lizard, that's their problem, not mine. Get out of here, and good riddance. That's what I thought. Thank you. What do you think? Nope, don't pull the weapon out. Don't need no killing. Uh, yes, let's travel together. Control some fools, are persuaded. No, 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 we, we already talked. Yes, follow me. Alright, let's go. And the bookstore is also right on this level, so... That's to the upper waste works. This is not the bookstore, is it? Nope, that's the enchanter who wants me to get rid of this dude, because he's annoying. And it's down here, right? Apothecary. Alchemist. Ah, Josaba's rare books. Yes, thank you very much. We should be free from distraction here. Now, I said to tell you about the Nervin cult, so you can report back to Caius. And I don't know anything about any sixth house cult. But I can tell you what I know. Alright, what can you tell me about the Nervarine cult? Lots of talking tonight. Lots of reading. To understand the Nervarine cult, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nervar means nothing. Oh, it means something very different to the Ashlanders from what it means to Dunmer of the Great Houses. You should also know that the about the persecution of the Nervarine and the legacy of the false incarnate. For the Nervin cult is at its heart one of the, is at the heart of the, the ancient conflict between the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Great House Dunmer. Here's a summary for Caius, but I can ask you questions and I'll answer in detail. All right, let's start with the beginning. What can you tell me about the history of the Ashlanders? In the first era, the nomadic Ashlanders and settled and the settled Dunmer clans were much alike. But after the First Council and the formation of the Great Houses, Ashlanders have been steadily forced into the poorest and most hostile lands. Now, the nomadic tribes look to the prophesied return of Nerevar for a restoration of their ancient rites and religious traditions. Alright, what can you tell me about the persecution of the Nerevar? The temple treats the Nerevarian prophecies as heresy, and the temple imprisons and executes heretics unless prevented by imperial law. But, since the Nervarine cult is hostile to the Empire, the Empire does not interfere with the Temple's persecution of the cult. Ashlanders hate the Temple, and particularly the Ordinators, for the ruthless treatment of the Nervarine cultists. So, we did hear the rumor earlier about the fact that there has been two Ordinators that had their throats slit, and a bunch of Outlanders. And who do we know? What group hates both the Ordinators and the Outlanders? Ashlanders. So they're. Mm, I don't think I've ever done the quest where we solve the murder of the Ordinators. But if I had to guess, it's some Ashlander guy who's a crazy assassin. Alright, so that was the persecution of the Nervine. How about the False Incarnate? What can you tell me about the False Incarnate? In the past, some have claimed to be the reincarnated Nerva. The most recent is known as Peak Star, a figure of legend among the Waste tribes. For the last 30 years, the temple saw says these false incarnates have disproved the prophecies, since false incarnates fail and come to nothing. But the mystical Nerva cult glorifies rather than shrink rather than shrinks from contradiction, citing the appearance of false incarnates as certain proof of Nerevar's coming rebirth. Um, there's a few other things I wish to... What about disturbing dreams? I'm sorry. I don't know why you'd tell me this. Uh, in the old country, they set great store by dreams and omens. But I am an educated creature. Dreams mean nothing. They're just fancies. Imagination. Um... Alright. What can you tell me about the great houses? In modern times, Morwind is ruled by five great houses. 
House Halalu, House Redoran, House Talvani, which are on the island of Ardenfell, and then House Inderil and House Dress. Those are not on the island. Um, those are more mainland houses. The Great House culture is divided, uh, defined by its roots in ancient Dwemer tribal clans, and particularly the later, by later imperial influences from other Western cultures. The Great House's culture is one of the native Dunbar cultures of Morwind, and the other native culture, the Ashland culture, is a nomadic barbar barbarian culture largely untouched by imperial influences. Makes sense. Um, let's see, what can you tell me about... That's yourself. The Morong Tong, I'm curious about the, the government-sanctioned assassins. Uh, I am only a low-ranking member, but Pomper and Commoner do not suffer from war here as they do in the West. Thanks to the honored traditions of the House War and the Morong Tong, I'm an Argonian, yet they treat me with respect. If you are curious, find a copy of The Black Glove. But please, do not mistake us for the Dark Brotherhood. The Dark Brotherhood is a perversion of ancient Dunmer traditions. They have sold their honor for profit, and are no more than a league of murderers for hire. Yeah, that's that's basically what they are. I mean, there is the whole Sithis aspect to them, and the Night Mother, and stuff like that, but generally, yes, they are murderers for hire. Um, we can just tell me about straight about the Nerevarine. When the Ashlanders joined Nerevar in the Battle of Red Mountain, he swore on his great ring, one clan under moon and star, to honor the ways of the spirits and the rights of the land. But after the victory, Ashlanders say the power-hungry tribunal slew Nerevar in secret, then setting themselves up as gods. The tribunal and the great houses forgot Nerevar's promises to the tribes. Ashlanders say Nerevar will come again with his ring, cast down the false gods, and make good his promise to the tribes. Alright. And we already talked about the Nerevarine cult, persecution... Uh, you don't know anything about the Sixth House. I've never heard of such a key thing. House Dangoth was the Sixth House, but in the War of the First Council, they betrayed the other great houses and were destroyed for their treason. But I've never heard of anyone worshipping them. Dangoth Ur, the ancient head of House Dangoth, is the devil of the tribunal faith, but I've never heard anyone worshipping him either. Alright. And... That's it. Thank you. Whoa. We greet you as a friend. Welcome. Welcome to you as well. I really like your armor. But I'm not going to kill you for it. Alright, so that is one check mark on our list of things to do in the back. Um, we now need to talk to... Someone from the Fighters Guild, we need to talk, um... To someone in St. Olm's Canton. Uh... Which is not here. I don't know, I don't remember where the Fighters Guild is. It might be in the Foreign Quarter here, it might not. It might be in the Arena. Canton. Uh... Let's just go check... The Upper Waste Works of Vivec foreign quarter here and then we'll see is there a plaza I forget if the uh, foreign quarter has a plaza get off the thing greetings recruit welcome to my humble shop we have a wide variety of potions for sale and being with more being made each day as this some ingredients although not many please describe to me what you need now try to file try to fill the order I don't need to do that um, Black Shell Corner Club. Okay, so that's the guy who was sent here to find. Aethran Morel, right? Just a quick look at the journal options. Aethran Morel. Hmm. I want to say it's the mage's brother that he asked me to find. 
So we'll go back. Um, we'll go back uh, down below and see if we can find him in the corner club. So I can't forget that quest. Um, a lot of stuff to do in Vec, and I don't have a list. Except what I have in here. I went the wrong way. But, we'll figure it out eventually. Alright. No, no. No. Nope, nope. Alright, so that means he's probably downstairs here. It's not the locked room. Hif... Hilf? The Harrier. Aye. Hail, Imperial. This is your first time in the Black Shulk. Then must be your first time to Vivek. Ha! I like this guy. What do you train in? He's also... He's around here somewhere. It's a strange one, that Mer. Always seems a little bit jittery. Yeah, what do you train in, out of curiosity? Axe, blunt weapon, and medium armor. Don't have the gold for the one I care about. So that means you're him. Alright. Sorry, Imperial. Uh, but I have a lot on my mind. I don't have time to stand here and uh, chat. What? Fulm's Morel sent you? To help me? Well, why didn't you say so? Fulm's. That was, that was his brother's name. That was his brother's name. Yeah. Yeah, Fulms sent me. We were talking about the we're talking about the same Fulms Morel, aren't we? Quiet, bookish? Yes. That's the one. Okay, glad to have your uh helping. I think he means help, but whatever. As you can see, I uh complete I am uh, completely safe at sound, but uh, I worry I'm worried about my mind about Athrol. Athrol Morel, you see, uh Athrol and I are involved in this, uh, unscrupulous business, shall we say. Shall we, shall, shall we say. Wow. I need to articulate better. You can tell me. Yeah, that's my brother. Me and him. We are involved in some unscrupulous business. What did you get yourself involved in? Look, uh, there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. Me and my brother, Athrol Morel, Morel smuggle skooma into Morinhold. It's big demand there. You'll be surprised at how much these upper class prigs? I think he means pricks. Uh, like the stuff. And uh, they don't want to risk buying locally. Someone might spill the beans, so to speak. Uh, so they like going through us. We've not you know, we've got no connections there. Uh, I get the skooma from my suppliers here in Vardenfell, they give it to Athril, and he goes and delivers it to the clients. You guys are just filthy skooma dealers. Uh, why should I help you? Things were going smoothly uh, up until a few days ago when Athro was supposed to meet me here to get the latest shipments. And he didn't show. He was supposed to be here. He wasn't. I'm worried. In our business, no shows usually mean, well, let's just say it's not good, not looking good. So, Fulm's Morel sent you. That's good. You're ready to help. Um. You guys got yourself mixed up in skooma dealing. And you want my help. This quest is not tied to any guild, so I don't need to complete it for anything. But could you give me some time to think about it? Time? Bah! Fine. Think about it, but hurry up. I'm curious what they want me to do. I mean, are they trying to get out of the skooma dealing there is business? Someone watching me. Probably I nothing. Because if they're wanting to get out of the skooma business, I would help them. If it's just to rescue his brother, I would help him. If it's to continue being skooma dealers, I'm not going to help them. Um, well, fine. Scooma dealers... 
What do I have to do? Good. Here's how it's going to work. No. No, no, no. Don't you teleport me to Mornhold. No. 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 No, no, no. No. Okay, good. You're going to let me know when I'm ready to go. Which is not now. Not at level 2. Or 3. Not at level 3. Not going to Mournhold. No. I should read what he actually says, but... Teleport to Mornhold. Yes, I could do that. It's a trick we learned from our brother. Uh, make it harder for us to track than plain old mock and recall spells. Anyway, once you're there... You've got to find Athrol if he's still alive. It's in your best interest to make sure that he's still alive, because if he isn't, you won't have any way back to Varnfell, as far as I'm aware. Athrol has a cover identity as a cleaner at the Royal Palace in Mornhold. You'll probably find him somewhere there, assuming he's still alive. So let me know when you're ready. Yeah, we're not ready. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I am not prepared to go to the mainland. But at least we got the, the quest and we know where he is. Alright, we need to find the Fighters Guild. Which is somewhere in Vivek here. No idea which quarter it is. The lower waist works. I think there's a plaza. And it might be up at the plaza. But who knows? So we want to find the Fighters Guild. Okay, this is just the upper waist works. I guess there is no plaza? Sweet. Yeah, there's no plaza. Hmm. Maybe I'll ask someone inside for somewhere specific and they'll know where the Fighters Guild is. You. Do you know specific place? If you are, if you need more magically inclined services, might I recommend the Telvani compound? Might be treated somewhat coldly, coolly there if you are not a house member. Uh, but if you are courteous and address them with deference, they may honor your request. The members of House Telvani are a reasonable lot, and their place prices are not quite extravagant as one might find within the Mages Guild. That's useful information. Not exactly what I need. I don't need your services. I do need a specific place. I've not traveled broadly in Vardenfell, but I hear hardly stray from Vec anymore, except to gather herbs from the Skating Isles for my potions and salves. Uh, but before settling here, I had much of my time in the settlements of the West Gash. Um, some are little more than outposts in rugged land. Some places like the fishing village of Cull and isolated Ald Velothi on the northern coast. But then there's Balmora, this seat of House Lalo can hardly be described as a hamlet. But is it West Gash? I guess it's, it sort of is, at the bottom of it. Still, Bomor is too much like Vivek for me. If I want a different kind of experience, I go to the towns of Caldera and Nysus. Each have good services for the traveler and haven't lost their frontier look and feel. I agree, Nysus is nice. That should be their... Uh, the town motto. Not exactly what I wanted. Um, not gonna ask an ordinator for help. Basai? Uh, Basai, do you know where... You know you're in Vivek. Awesome. Alright. Well, if I go to, like, the... If I go to the Arena Canton, that will definitely have fighters there. 
That could tell me where the Fighter's Guild is. Alright. We are going to try out our Amulet of Slowfall. Alright. Here goes nothing. Oh, the lantern was in the way. Come on. Let... Let me up. There we go. There we go. Get low enough. There we go. Much easier than walking. Alright, so we are in the... Redoran ca Canton, I believe. Which is good, because there's probably warriors here, and it seems like from what I was talking with those people, in Vivek at least, if you ask for a specific place, it depends on who you're asking, they'll tell you about different things. So, the Redoran Waste Works. Alright. What do we have here? I like the water flowing through. It looks nice. Hello. You're an Imperial Noble. Hmm. You, uh... Alright, I guess she's a noble. Uh, of some degree. In the Imperial Society. Uh, do you know of a specific place? The Imperial City of Cyrodiil is the greatest city in all the world. Visit it at least once before you die. I have, when the Emperor himself gave me my title of Imperial Nobility. Quite an honor. Yes, thank you. You... The Emperor himself gave you the title? Hmm. Yes, it was a great honor to have the Emperor himself personally grant me the title of Nobility. He was along with four or five others at the same time, but he spoke to me personally and thanked me for my services to the Empire. Yes, a great honor. Alright. Uh, what can you tell me about... Rumors. House Rhetoran has been sending groups of mercenaries against the rogue Talvani bases, cropping, up all Ill cropping out in Molagamur in the Ashlands. They don't seem to be having much luck. If you can these rogue Telvanni are still small fry compared to the mage lords of the Telvanni Towers. Maybe the hard-headed veterans are sticking too closely to the armored knight charge and bash drill. Maybe some with a little subtlety might do better. Maybe. Or that it doesn't seem to be the veteran way. What are you talking about? House veteran. So my ancestors were in House veteran. I am not. Veterans sh should all abandon their house and join the Imperial Legion instead. It is not the house. Um, it's not the house I heard about growing up either. Some veterans are refusing honor, honorable duels. Archmaster Venom's personal behavior is shameful, and there are scandals with Saren and Dreador. Oh, the, with the Saren and Dreador children. Actually, a bit sad, I think. Hmm, so it seems House Redoran is uh, has fallen into uh, poor favor in recent years. Yes, uh, nothing else I need. Thank you for talking, my lady. She is a noble, okay? I gotta address her with some respect. Uh, Redoran's scout and drill master. The Flowers of Gold. Hello? Oh, come on. I don't- I don't want to talk to your back, lady. Fine. Good day, I'm Sarasi Rebador, publican of the Flowers of Gold here in Quebec. We rent beds, and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. Excuse me? If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services, or a specific place nearby. Perhaps you're looking for someone in particular, I might be able to help. Quick. I keep seeing the, the, the watching go up to like three and back down to two, and I, I, I have a sneaky suspicion I'm not replying to messages in chat, and that's why people are leaving, but 
So yeah, Taco King. If you uh, if you just type something in the chat real quick, just want to make sure that it's working. That'd be great. Uh, looking for a specific place. Here we go. This is what I wanted to hear: the generic Vivek explanation dialogue. Vivek has eight cantons on a map. We look like. Uh, it looks like a cross with the foreign corner at the top, the temple compound with Vivek's palace and the High Fane, the Ministry of Tooth and the Great Hall's Wisdom and the Hall of Justice at the bottom. The Halalu compound to the west, the Talvani compound on the east, and the four cantons grouped together in the center with the cross, the Veteran, Arena, St. Delens, and St. Olms. Uh, Silt Striders from the North Landing. North of the Foreign Quarter go to St. Denine, Saran, Mulligmar, and Balmora. Guild Guides of the Foreign Quarter Mages Guild. Okay, so the Mages Guild is in the Foreign Quarter. Uh, teleport you to Balmora, Alderaan, Caldera, Sadrith Mora. Mages Guild for free. Gondolier ferries passengers between the Telvani compounds, Hlawley compounds, and Foreign Quarter, St. Delans, and Arena. Why do I have a feeling that the Foreign Quarter does have a plaza? I totally missed it, and that's where the Fighters Guild is, because the Mages Guild there, Fighters Guild's probably there as well. Foreign Court, what can you tell me about it? it is the la large three-tiered canton to the north. Originally, foreigners were not allowed to enter Vivek any further than the Foreign Quarter, but now Outlanders control throughout Vivek at will. Imperial Guilds each have guild halls. So, yep, Fighters Guild is there. I left too early. Complete services there. An imperial cult shrine serves spiritual needs. That's basically where I need to go. <sighs> go back there. We're going back. Thankfully, I do have the Amulet of Slowfall, so it won't be that bad. So we'll go back to the Foreign Quarter, get to the Fighters Guild, we can rest there for the night. Yeah, it's on the top. Alright, this is going to be a pain. Climbing the stairs. I kind of wish I had some levitation. Uh, enchantment artifacts, whatever. I have Rising Force Potions, but that's too useful for Telvani. Towers, and uh, I, if I find myself needing to go to the Telvani for a quest, I don't want to not have those. So I'm going to save them. I'm going to take the long way this time. It's going to be a little obnoxious, but we'll get there. And the stars look nice. It's a nice night. It's not raining or anything, so it could be worse. The music is lovely. Alright. So we've just about reached the top. Then I need to go around the side again to actually get to the plaza. Because that's with the Fighters Guild, which I need to visit. And the Imperial Shrine, which I need... No, Imperial Shrine I need to visit is in Ebonheart. But I do need to visit the Fighters Guild, so. I'm gonna ask about more jobs, because Eldest Fire Eye doesn't have anything else for me right now. The Foreign Quarter Plaza. Alright. So that is the Smith who is gone for the And Tesla! Welcome to chat. Welcome to the stream today. Hope you are doing well. Nice to see you again, Tesla. Also another smith. <coughs> I want to get that cough looked at. Alright, Guild of Fighters. Raig. Um, weapon training? What do you have? That's my job. It's not much point having a fine ebony longsword if you can't remember which end you hold and which end goes into the other guy. Training is essential if your skills are low. You can always learn by just going out and fighting. It's less painful to learn from you. Alright. What's our training? You can give me long blade, blunt, or axe training at a very steep price. Uh, out of curiosity, 
Do you... You're not the one in charge here. Alright. You're just kind of the guy at the front desk. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, here's the quarters. Good. Um, what's up? Uh, yeah, I'll be new round here, Imperial. I be Bogrash, go Schnagdu. Fixer of things for Vivic Pyre's Guild here. If it be broke, Boshgag can make it work. Again, not weapons and armor, mind ya. That'd be Lobug's job. He's pretty good at it, too. So what'd Bashgag do for you? I have no idea where I went with that voice, but oh well. Uh, I don't know what you could do for me. Do you have any rumors? Ordinators attack you on sight in Vivek, if and you be wearing their special armor. Indrilla Ordinator, it'd be called. I hear they'd be trying to get the outlawed and trying to get it outlawed in Wall Morwind 2. Wear an ordinary armor without the approval being plain stupid anyway. Yeah, but it looks so cool. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna go to bed. We'll rest until morning. Now, I do want to see if there's any jobs for, the, for uh, a Fighters Guild member here. Hello, Wood Elf. You see my sword around here? I know I had it with me before talking with Raig, but now it's nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't know. You are not someone who can give me orders. Alright. You look like the smith. You're probably not going to be giving me orders, but... Hmm. You are, actually. Advancement? Out of curiosity. No. And to perform more duties. So what are your orders? Narn Gosh... Uh, an orc. Said he'd deliver a ring to Rain's Aerith. But he hasn't delivered. Could talk with Rain's Aerith and bring the... Judas Feather Ring to me. Justa? Uh, said he'd get a Justa Feather Ring for a client. Nar says he doesn't have the ring, but he's a liar. Find him in the Halalu Canton Plaza and bring me that ring. Alright, can do. Can do. What do you have? Not yet, not at your rank, and you don't repair either. Alright. It's kind of cool to see... Uh, I wouldn't say the leader, but well, who are you? You also can do stuff. What orders do you have? You need to be better rank. Oh, you'll take your ranks from your champion. Okay. So you are the higher up. You're the lesser kind of guy, but still high. Because, I mean, Vivek Fighters Guild isn't the lowest level, I think, of the Fighters Guild. I still think Balmora is probably the lowest. So that is not a supply chest. Actually, I don't really... No. Is there a supply chest here for, like, health potions? There is. I don't need it right now, but... Yeah, because they'll just weigh me down. But it's good to know that they're there. Alright, so we're in the foreign quarter here. And so I have a quest for the Fighters Guild in the Hulalu Canton and St. Olms, the map, Redoran, Foreign Quarter. I don't have the other cantons on the map, so we're going to have to walk. by walk, I mean jump over the edge here. If my acrobatics doesn't fail me. Come on. There we go. Back to Redoran Canton. Hulalu is to the west. So that's this one. Also... 
the banners with the scales on it kind of give it away a bit. Redoran is the scarab beetle. Hualu is the scales. Telvani, I don't know. I don't remember what their symbol is. Probably something weird. Probably Daedric rune or icon or something. Telvani are an odd bunch. Alright, we need to go to the plaza to convince the guy to give us the ring. Hopefully we can actually convince him and we don't have to kill him. Which is kind of interesting how many times that happens in the Fighters Guild in this game is don't kill the person, you gotta talk to them. Or even in the Majors Guild, don't kill the person, talk with them. Do we want to go to the plaza? And I don't want to be fatigued. If we need to, we have Voice of the Emperor. Which hasn't recharged yet because it hasn't been 24 hours. You look like the guy we need to talk to. I'm going to wait for my fatigue to recharge. Because I think fatigue affects persuasion. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to play it safe. Yeah, that's Nar. Alright. How you doing, Nar? I'm Zivi, Safia. I'm Nar Groshawaf. Don't worry. That can be confusing for us. And we live here. Is there a specific place you want, or someone in particular you're trying to find? Find I'm trying to find you, actually. Um. Yes, what about the, the juiced off feather ring? I don't got any ring, and I don't know what you're talking about. Really, you're going to play that game, huh? We're going to do this little song and dance. Just to be on the safe side in case he hates me for mentioning it. Fine, take it. I never liked the stupid ring anyway. Uh, what did the ring do? Feather? 50 points for 30 seconds? That's a, that's a nice ring. Uh, who do I need to go to? Or do I need to... Yeah. Nara says, and bring me that ring. So I gotta bring it back to him. I don't need to bring it to the person who was told to get it. I just need to bring it to him. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the foreign quarter. Specifically the Fighters Guild. Ebonheart looks so cool from distance. I love I love Morwin's imperial architecture. It really is interesting. I mean, because it's it's clearly medieval inspired architecture, but it's not pure medieval. Like you get a lot of the stuff you get in Oblivion strays way too much into classic medieval style and whatnot. But more when it's just it's slightly different. It's just off enough where it's more interesting to see. Alright. So we are actually going to try We only have two more charges on this for now. We're going to see if we can make it... Uh, that's sketchy. I don't know if we can make it that far. We'll actually take the stairs down. Hmm. 
Maybe work on our acrobatics while we're at it. I mean, hopefully we'll le we'll level up our athletics a bit wandering around Vivek. Hopefully the next time we come to Vivek, there's less things to do here, so we can kind of just get in and out. It's like shopping. If you have a plan, it goes fast. If you don't have a plan, it's going to take forever. And the, the main thing that makes Vivek seem big in this game, even though it's not that big... I mean, it, it is even big compared to, I'd say, the Imperial City and Oblivion, like, square footage. But it probably has just... It's bigger overall square footage, but probably just the same used or productive square footage. So, like, all the shops and, and floors and stuff like that in all the cantons are probably roughly the same as the Imperial City and Oblivion. But because there's all these walkways that you need to go and, and long stretches corners you have to go around and ramps up. There's a lot of space that's just, just taken up by traveling. Nothing to do with actually getting anywhere. Or, I mean, it has everything to do with getting there, but it's nothing... There's no shops there, there's no people to interact with. It's just an empty road, basically. And there's no easy way to get there's no short way to get from point A to point B without having to do a lot of circling around, a lot of ramps. Which is, I think, one of the reasons why people find it confusing, but it's another reason why it feels big. Because even though if the straight, straight line distance between any two points is way shorter than the actual distance you have to travel. Way shorter. Fighter's Guild. Alright, yes, I have the ring. You have the ring? Yeah, I'm gonna give him the ring. Good. Give me the ring and I'll get you your pay. There you go. Here's a hundred septum, swordsman. Easy money. If you want more orders, I got them. I mean, I would like more than a hundred septums, but I mean, that quest was... It was worth about a hundred septums for the quest. Yes, uh, there's an Argonian that can't keep his mouth shut. Go shut Tongue Toad's mouth. Go find Tongue Toad and the Rat in the Pot in Old Run. Silence him and I'll give you 500 Septums. Alright, we'll do that eventually. Uh, any advancement for me? I am the Protector. Alright, sweet. I have the Rank Protector. You... Probably won't... Yeah, give me orders. The Eldest Fire Eye might give me orders now that I'm Protector. Next time in Balmora, I'll go check. But I will need to go up to Old Run at some point and go to the Rat in the Pot. All right. So I believe we are done with the Foreign Quarter for now. We need to go to St. Olm's Canton and then the Temple. I believe St. Olm's is... Well, it's one of those two with the statues on it. Uh, I guess I'll just go to the one straight south from here first. No, wrong spot. Wrong spot to jump. Oh, come on. The slow fall doesn't last forever. So 
can't do it immediately after I jump, otherwise it'll wear out halfway down. And then I'm still falling halfway. It's one of those two. So that's the arena. I don't know which one it is, but we'll see when we get there. And we are looking for Khajiit. And where's the Thieves Guild, I believe? You're in St. Delon's Canton. You want St. Olm's. Just conveniently, right here, St. Olm's Canton. And I'm trying to remember where this Khajiit is. Oh, yes. I remember where she is. The dude in the dress is looking for her. Ah, I'm looking for a friend of mine. A female Khajiit named it here and here. Do you happen to know, to know where I can find her? I don't, but I'm looking for her as well. Uh, no, I don't. Well, I see. Perhaps some other good citizen can tell me where to find her. I don't know where to find her. Actually, I do. Character doesn't. You. I am looking for someone in particular. Do you know where the Khajiit is? Uh, for some reason I can't seem to remember. Alright. Let's do it. You don't like me admiring you. Maybe someone else will uh, be more receptive to my persuasions. Though it could have just been the fact that my fatigue was at zero. Could have been it. I don't know, sir. Where did you put it? Ah, it's an ordinator. It's never a good idea asking ordinators for directions. Oh, there's people down there. I can go ask them. They'll hopefully be nice. I believe the two saint cantons are residential areas. Also, there's only a little market here. You, uh, do you know where the Khajiit is? Is that Sneak? She'll be here in St. Dolmes somewhere. Though if the heat's on, she may, be not, may not be parading around in public. Ask around. Perhaps someone else has seen her. All right. Well, it's good to know that I can ask around. Do you know where she is? Perhaps someone else has seen her. Do you know where she is? Hiding from the census and excise station, I bet. Alright, well, that's enough for me to assume that she's hiding somewhere. If she's hiding, you check the canal works. I do like that poster though, with Vivek, Amalexia, and Sophosil. It's a very stylized depiction of them, but it does look cool. It looks very comic book like. I believe she's in the Underworks. Apparently not. That side of the underworks. She's on the other side. You're not her, are you? No, you are Jadan Jadanar. I still don't see her. She's down here somewhere, usually. 
I guess we'll kill some rats while we're down here. Come here, rat. Come on, rat me, go, dispose of corpse. I am really hesitant to go talk to that person. Because it's under one of these uh, areas of Vec, there's a shrine to Daedric Prince. I think it's Shea Gorath. And his followers are very hostile. Also well armed. Come here. Maybe she doesn't appear down here until I actually successfully ask someone about her. Nope, she's over there. I've gone the wrong way. We're gonna have to go past that person who may or may not be hostile. But if they are hostile, hopefully we can take them. And if we're down here, let's get our helmet on. I mean, they're not attacking the rat. Ooh, is that silver armor? I think that's silver. I want it. Out of curiosity. I see where you have that uh, your affairs have prospered. How can I help you? Uh, do you know a little secret? I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Oh, and you the dialogue's gone forever. That's a shrine. As soon as I go in there, you're gonna turn hostile and try to kill me, aren't you? I'm there's a slim chance I'd be able to take them. I mean my long blade's at forty nine, but I'm only level three. But I have decent gear. Who knows? I didn't come here for that. I came here, came there for her. Stabbing some rats is a bonus, I guess. Here and here. Great. So Caius says to you, speak with it here and here. And you have done this thing. You are speaking with it here and here. But here and here will not talk to you about the Nervine cult, or the Nervine or Six House cult, and because why? Because here and here is at this moment very distracted by a nice census and excise agent who wants to speak with her. What can I do to help you? You do not know this. There are collectors of the emperor's taxes and tariffs, and the emperor has outlawed trade in many things, like Dwemer artifacts and ebony. Oops. I may have traded in a few Dwim artifacts to Khajiit Merchant in Balmora a few days ago. No one else would take them. And a sense that it's an excise agent will enjoy being a pest about such things for several reasons. A sense it's an excise agent is not a Hirinir's favorite person. If you want a Hirinir to help you, you'll make the bad agent go away, and then she will tell you things. Alright, time to persuade this man in a dress to leave the kitty cat alone. This looks like we want to take the western stairwell. There you are. Yes. Uh, yes! She just took the gondola to the mainland. What did his appointment? But 
I thank you for your time. I'm just heading back to the mainland myself. Anyway, uh, and maybe I'll run into her there. What is this one? What is this one about? I do not know. I'm really curious, because I think we have a full alphabet for the Dwemer, or the Data Ruins. So this theoretically could be translated, I believe. I don't know the translation, but uh, someone probably could. Alright. The bad agent is gone. So you are the one that Hirunio must thank for getting rid of the annoying census and excitation. Indeed, Hirunio is very glad to see you, and very happy to tell a friend of my good friend Caius uh, about the Sixth House Cult, and Hirunio knows nothing about the Neverine, but Hirunio... Wow, her name's hard to say. Hirunio. He is happy to tell you that, too. It makes Caius happy. Esque, friend Safia. Uh, actually, curious, what is your background? Does nothing important. Khajiit does nothing. Best picture on the internet is these, uh, uh, animal control guys. They're dealing with, like, a cougar trying to get it into, like, the back of a van. And the caption is, Khajiit has done nothing wrong. Khajiit is not a thief. <laughs> or something like that. It's great. It makes me laugh every time. Alright. So what do you know about the Sixth House Cult? This, Itiridio knows about. Because it is about smuggling. So smart smugglers are starting to see suddenly too busy for their old clients. Because they have a new employer, the Sixth House. Who pays very well. But what do they smuggle now? Itiridio doesn't know. Because they are very secret. And this is odd, because these smugglers are always loud and bragging. But now they hush up like fat-bellied kittens full of sweet meats. Alright, what, what about smuggling? We can talk about that. Smuggling is big business, the Empire says. We can't trade skooma, moon sugar, ebony, dwemer artifacts, exotic dwemer weapons and armor. And slaves. So smuggling trades these things. Smugglers also smuggle grief, shine, and sajama to avoid imperial tax. Now the Sixth House hires smugglers. Though, if they smuggle, it here and here does not know. Uh, and you can't tell me anything about the Nervarine. You know nothing. Thieves Guild. Uh, and I have asked about everything else. Alright. So got all the information from her. So now, I believe the last person we need to talk to in Vivek is... The priestess at the temple. Um, which is south of here. Hey, Jacob4661. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream today. And no two minute loaded times. That is indeed the best part about having it on TC PC, is the not having the extremely long loading times. Though, for me, on original Xbox, my loading times were much longer than two minutes on initial load. I think I was roughly between five and ten minutes. <laughs> and this is what it can look like if you have uh, 30 or 40 mods on it. So we're in Vivek right here. We can see Ebenhart all the way across the harbor. Which, now that we can actually see there that far, it doesn't look that far away. That was closer than I intended it to be. Hall of Wisdom, I believe, is where we needed to go. Hmm. Uh, you want to look up nexusmods.com. I believe it's .com. And that is the place for as many mods, for as many games as you can think of. Oh. That was easy. Hello. Yes, I'm Hermilo. Kai sent you. Follow me to the back of the library. We can talk there. Alright, goodbye. 
we'll follow her. I suppose her hair is is copperish. It's, it's... I mean, her eyes are always copper, but it's a, I suppose it is a darker red. Also, <laughs> the fact that we have an auditor just standing behind us is hilarious. She's like, we need to go to the back of the library and be quiet so they don't hear us. And then, ordinary stand right behind me. Uh, go ahead, I'm afraid you don't... I don't know anything about a sixth house cult, but I can tell you about the Nervarine cult. My journal's been updated. What can you tell me about the Nervarine cult? The temple worships Nervar as a saint and hero, but prophecies of his reincarnation are published as wicked heresy. The Nervarine cult claims the tribunal are false gods, hence the tribunal of the... Uh, hence the temple's persecution of the Nervarine cult. A group called the Dissident Priests disputes the temple's doctrine on the Nervarine prophecies. The prescribed book, Progress of Truth, describes their belief. Get a copy of Progress of Truth for Caius, and that will tell him things he needs to know about the Nervarine cult. Uh, what can you tell me about persecution of the Nervarine? It's an Ashlander cult, primitive superstition, says the temple. Nervarines. Nervines? Say the tribunal are false gods. I never understood why the temple wastes so much energy on them. Faithful cannot be shaken by such attacks, and the Ashlanders are just ignorant savages. But since the submission of the temple to the Empire, and the erosion of faith among the Dunma, and the militant wing of the temple is increasingly fierce with its attacks on heretics and heathens. Alright, uh, and Parks of Truth, where could I get a copy? This book lists the disputes of the dissident priests with the Tribunal Temple doctrines. The temple has outlawed the sale or possession of the book, so it will be hard to find. We have a copy here, but I'm in fear of being watched by ordinators here. A safer plan would be search a local bookseller. Um, some booksellers ignore the temple's bans on outlaws, books, and profits for principles. Uh, Josaba's rare books, I believe, in the foreign quarter, which I don't want to walk all the way back to. As a copy, uh, I might be able to grab it here from the library. We'll see. Watch by ordinators. I do not care for the temple politics, but I've read Progress of Truth, and it troubles me. I have friends, former priests, who have gone into hiding. So I'm bound to come under attention by the ordinators. I'm, I'm careful, but I'm afraid. Uh, I'm no secret agent like you, Caius. Sooner or later, I too must go into hiding. If it's not too late, when you turn to Caius, tell him I'm worried. And that if something goes wrong, I will leave a message under the agreed code name where code word Amaya. Alright, good to know. Um, what can you tell me about ordinators? The order of doctrine and ordination are military scholars. Okay. Can you tell me anything cool about the place? What about the Ministry of Truth? The Ministry of Truth was hollowed out to provide a prison and re-education center operated by the temple ordinators for the correction of heretics. So it's not just a jail, it's an Inquisition style jail. Got it. That seems to be it. Alright, now where is Progress of Truth? Don't mind me. It'll probably be alone. There's probably only one copy. Deed to Inderel's house. Huh. I don't know why someone has a deed to a house in the library. Seems like not a place for it. Sermons. Vecca Mafala. That ought to be an interesting read. Vacations of Azura. House of Troubles. Reflections on Cult Worship. The Book of Dawn and Dusk. House of Troubles. Book of Dawn and Dusk. Cantons of Avec. I know they have a copy. I'm just trying to remember where it is. Mysterious Akavir. Hmm. Nice. All for under 20 bucks? That's great. I know the Steam sale just started today. I haven't looked into it that much. I did get the email about it, and uh, apparently 25 items on my wish list are on sale, so... 
I have to do some triage. I'm not going to be able to get all of them. Not seeing progress of truth. A lot of Vivek and Mafala. Brief of the Empire, Reflection Cult's Worship, blah blah blah, Lives of the Saints. Pilgrim's Path. It's not this shelf. No? <laughs> Don't sniff so loud, you scared me. Alright, so that means we're probably gonna have to go get it from a bookseller. Unfortunately, means we have to travel all the way back through Vivec. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. But before we do that, I'm gonna take wealth a, beyond measure, Alcanta. I'm gonna take a short two-minute bathroom break. I'll be right back, guys. Enjoy the music. Yeah, we had to go to Joe Saba's, but I'll be back. There we are, back, and ready to travel. Gotta run all the way back to Josaba's Rare Books. And see, this would be less annoying if I was going straight back to Balmora from there. But I'm not. I'm going down to the vet, uh, Ebenhart. So we got to go back up to Josaba's, and then all the way back south to Ebenhart. Though I might take a gondolier. I'll take a gondola down to Ebenhart. We'll see. Also, I think... No, there's no Silt Strider port, but there's a boat in the foreign quarter.
Yeah, there's the boat. Because I can get back to Belmora anytime I want. I have a Mark uh, Belmora. And I have a recall amulet, so. Getting back to report on the success of our quest. Not a problem. Not a problem. And thankfully, Josaba is on the first floor of the forward quarter. So I don't have to go looping around everywhere to go to his bookstore. Here we go. And Josaba's rare books. Kabashas. Maybe I have I been pronouncing it. Have I been pronouncing it wrong this entire time? I probably have. Like half the things in Morrowind, completely impronounceable. Jobashas. Not Jo. We you are greet right. you as a friend. Jacob, you are Welcome. right. I am wrong. I've been pronouncing Jobashas. Rare books. It's Joshaba's rare books. I am terrible. Jobasha. Greetings, recruit. Welcome to Jobasha's rare Jobasha's bookstore. There's many volumes that others do not have to sell. Even some volumes that others do not want Jobasha to sell. What do you have? Do you have Progress of Truth? However much I like the icon and how dense... Morrowind's inventory screens are. It is a little bit, I do acknowledge, it is a little bit of a pain to have to hover over everything. Um. Pebble's Path. Ferment, Eastern Provinces. Changed Ones, Cantons of Vivek, Brothers of Darkness, Book of Dawn Dusk. There we go. Progress of Truth. Dark Elf, good with instruction, alteration, light armor, alchemy, marksmanship, illusion, okay with restoration, acrobatics, book down, restoration. Interesting. Interesting. I I also have restarted this and played many, many characters in Morrowind. Uh, I have, I really like Dark Elf with light armor, long blade, marksman, sneak, stealth. And uh, stuff like that. So I, I sneak around with a bow. And then if worse comes to worse, I pull out a claymore and smash their face. So I'm a sneaky thief, but I have a backup plan. Backup plan. Alright, so now let's head to Ebonheart. Just want to quick check off in my head that we did everything we wanted to do in Vec. We talked to Fighters Guild. We did that other quest and that would take us to Mournhold. We don't want to do that yet. We talked to the three people for Caius. We're now going to head to Ebonheart and become a Shrine Sergeant in the Imperial Cult. Because I have not done the Imperial Cult quest line yet before in any of my characters. So we're going to go do that. Um, I believe I want to head out north here. No, that's a bad idea. I don't have uh, slow fall anymore. That would have been deadly. That would have been deadly. This playthrough, if I wanted to go over my skills, we are a custom class recruit, which specializes in combat. Our favorite attributes are, I believe, personality and endurance. We are skilled in heavy armor, long blade, medium armor, block, speechcraft. Minor skills are restoration, marksmanship, athletics, armor, hand to hand, which we haven't actually used yet. We are an imperial. We are level three, and that's how much of the map we've explored. We have a quest to go near boss. Um, 
And the whole point, uh, Jacob, of this uh, playthrough here is uh, why the stream is titled The Elder Scrolls Legacy. Is starting with Morrowind here. We're going to be uh, starting with here, and we're going to be playing a, a character and carrying the character through Morrowind, Oblivion, and then Skyrim. Uh, so we're going to be kind of continuing the story of the character over an arc of three games. And uh, I believe this is stream number six in the series. And uh, we're still in Morrowind. It's going to be a while. This is a long running series on this channel. But uh should hopefully be interesting to watch. We're going to go take that to Halalu. Because from here there's a bridge and then we can walk to Ebonheart. So this character, my plan is to do the main quest, Fighters Guild, Imperial Cult, Imperial Legion, and House Rhetoran. Main quest. So five quest lines in this game. That was the plan. The plan may change. So I've tried streaming Daggerfall, but it, it didn't like me capturing it. So I've had problems with Daggerfall. Uh, I'm going to probably try again once the Daggerfall Unity project is, is complete. Uh, which basically converts the Daggerfall game to run in the Unity engine, which allows for greater render distance, better lighting, better sound effects, and a lot of other nice stuff. And it runs much better. Benny Hendrix, welcome to chat. Welcome to the stream today. Levitate should have been brought back to Skyrim. I agree that it should have, but I can see why they didn't and why they haven't been able to bring back Levitation for Oblivion and Skyrim. It's because of how they do cities, and Levitation breaks when your cities are a separate cell, and they're open to the sky. Like, if, if you levitate it inside Whiterun, and you go over the walls, they don't have it set up to load outside of the walls yet. And that would be a possibly difficult thing. I get to play it in a window. I might have to try that again sometime. So I, while I can understand why, as a developer, why they didn't do it, I still wish they brought it back, because Levitate, and even some of the other random spells that uh, Morwen has, like, like Jump and, and, and stuff, like weird transportational spells. Fighting Dragon, make a law, no levitate in town. Maybe. But I'd, I, I would feel, I'd, I'd feel gypped if I couldn't levitate anywhere. Who knows what they're doing for Elder Scrolls 6. They may bring it back, they may completely remove uh, instant cities and stuff like that. Like, I know Fallout 4 has very few loading screens to get into to cities and, and, and buildings and stuff. And so, and even then, if you drop into, like, Good Neighbor or stuff from above, it will still load you in. You don't have to go through the door. So with that technology, they may actually make levitation more possible if they carry some of that over into Elder Scrolls 6. Telekinesis was good for stealing, though. Telekinesis also existed in... Great, it's dark and the city gates are locked. Crap, we might be outside the city tonight, guys. I mean, I could... Hmm. Black Marsh? Is that what you hope for? I personally... Hmm. I personally want Valenwood and Elsewhere. So, two province game. Because they've done all of the large provinces so far. If they were to do... And they, they've kept the scale, the scale roughly the same between Morrowind, and Oblivion, and Skyrim. So if they kept the scale the same, I don't think they would get they could get away with doing just one province because it would be too small of a game. It would be going smaller uh, map. And I don't think 
it, it, in today's market, I don't think you can get away with a smaller map. Also, given that it's more likely that they're actually going to... It won't come out for a few years. Uh, definitely then, they would probably wouldn't be able to get away with a smaller map. The docks aren't going to let me up, are they? Also, it looks like there's supposed to be a ship here. Huh. That might be the ship that you can take over from the foreign quarter there. I really hope there's a ramp. Please tell me that there's a, there's a ramp or stairs or something. Okay, it looks like there's stairs here. That was kind of trippy. This is much deeper. Oh, come on. Let me... You're not going to let me up. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to cheat, but... When you do something stupid like that, not let by not letting me go up the stairs, I will TCL. So you guys saw that I could clearly get up that Just stupid collision. That boat seems a bit off. Huh. I think that boat is supposed to be there. 80% sure. That is the Hall of Wonders. This is the Hall of Wonders. Oh, what can you tell me about Ebenhardt? Ebenhardt is the Imperial Headquarters for Vardenfell District. It is a busy seaport. Duke Venom... Vedam Dren is the district's ruler and emperor's representative. The duke lives in the castle Ebenhart. The district council chambers and the Hawkmoth Legion garrison are also at the castle Ebenhart. These number of company buildings and docks are outside the castle, facing Vivek to the east. Yeah. Valenwood elsewhere, Terry Hammerfell. Don't forget the Somerset Isles. We could go to the Somerset Isles. I could, I could actually see that happening. Or maybe this boat's supposed to be there. I know what it is. These boats are in the right spot, but the city's been extended due to Morwind Rebirth, and so. Yes, that's what it is. The city's been extended. And wow, there's some glitches here. Alright. Alright. There's also the Akaviri continent. There is that. Um. We're inside the wall. Did Morwen rebirth just, like, crap on the city of... Ebenhard here? Because I've not... It shouldn't be a mod conflict. I have nothing else that modifies Ebenhard. Uh, we will go see the Imperials... Imperial Shrine in the morning. I'm going to stay at the fi Six Fishes tonight. And this is the place with you. I like your armor. I kind of want it. Uh, yes. Do you, you rent beds? Good. I'll have one available. Ten gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Yes. Great. The bed is yours. Enjoy your stay. I would like directions to where my bed is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, but I would like to know for sure which room is mine. It is this one. 
Because 11 p.m. will rest for eight hours. It'll be 7 a.m. Jacob, thank you so much for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream today. I hope you enjoy the follower ringtone, jingle, whatever it is. The music that plays. Actually, I believe all of my notification stuff is, is Elder Scrolls themed and related. <coughs> like hosting, subscribers, donations. Yeah, I think everything's Elder Scrolls. If you can't tell, I like my Bethesda. Alright, so we are... Oh, that's a nice bright sun morning. Imagine, like, opening up the door to the inn and just sunlight right in your eyes. Ah, that'd be blinding early in the morning. Unfortunately, mm. I didn't save all these streams, but uh, during summer of 2015, or 2016, summer 2016, I played through Fallout 4 over the course of uh, it was all on stream, and I think we I think the playthrough ended at like 168 hours. So yeah, if you, if you want Bethesda stuff, that's pretty much my Twitch channel. <laughs> but this this season is uh, Elder Scrolls, going through three, four, and five, all heavily modded, of course. Uh, oh, this is the Argonian. No, that's the Skyrim mission. Why are the Argonians outside of it? There's the Argonian mission. Why are they over there? If this, I'm confused. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but I do need to go to the Imperial Shrine and ask to become a Shrine Sergeant. That's the Imperial Silver. I want it. That's what the Duke's Guards wear. I know someone who sells it, but I need to, well, earn enough money to. It. And that's adamantine, I believe. That is shiny. There's also this Legion Commander gear, which actually looks quite nice. Let's see, Grand Council Chambers. We have person in dwarven armor. You can bring me to Mornhold, but not right now. And here we go. Here's the Imperial Chapel. Who do I need to talk to? Um, just look at our journal real quick. I Imperial Cult. Here we go. Blah blah blah. Fort Mumbath. Become a lay servant. What can you tell me about lay servant? All right. Imperial chapels. Then go to the imperial chapel in Ebonheart. Get to work. C. No, I don't want to become a lay healer. I don't want to become an Ulmer. Kine. Or Kane. I have to see Kane. Which is not you. Not you. Kane. Hello, layman Safia. My name is Kane, and I am in charge of our volunteer shrine sergeants for the cult. Are you ready for a shrine sergeant assignment? That is a really hard alliteration to say. Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Uh, I could use a little help here. We treated a high elf named Kariel. Kariel? For swamp fever. We later discovered that while he was here, a rare chapel limeware bowl disappeared from our shrine. You'll we'll find this Kariel and retrieve our bowl for us. The High Elves are in a small tight-knit community on Vardenfell. Try asking other High Elves to see if they know where he lives. I liked 4. I like this. I, I've played the most of 4, I should say. I love the shooting. I, I can... Personally, I overlook the dialogue. 
I don't care about not having skills, because it's more player skill based anyways. Uh, and because of the enhanced shooting mechanics, skills are a little less important, I think. Uh, I hated the karma system in 3. Uh, how it was implemented. I liked the story in 4, and I liked the soundtrack, so. I'm one of the few people that really, really enjoyed 4. Uh, we can hit out the Limeware Bowl. The bowl was a gift from a benefactor. It's unique and quite valuable. Alright, so I need to talk with some high elves. To figure out where this dude might be. Are there any high elves in here? Well, there's some high elves. There's there's high elves in Balmora. I know that. And we're gonna be heading back there. So speaking of which, we have an amulet of recall. There we go. So useful. Ah, Caius. Here. I am here to discuss my orders. I have your report, and I'll make copies of your notes from Hulea and the Proxy of Truth. Give me some time to re digest all this. In the meantime, I'm, promise, I'm promoting you to journeyman. You're doing good work, and here's 200 drakes. Go out and treat yourself to a new pair of shoes, and go do some go jobs for the guilds. Rather freelance work, just keep your cover story current. Or get some training. Then, when you're fit and rested, come back, and I'll have new orders for you. I'm probably going to wait until I'm like level 5 or 6 to come back to you. See, for me, a game doesn't need much for me to roleplay, personally. I understand that systems are in place in games and, and definitely facilitate roleplaying better than others, but a lot of my roleplaying is all in my head. And I can do that in pretty much any game. So even though Fallout 4 had less of a... Less tools for role-playing, I still felt that it was enough for me to do... Do it in my head, at least. Um, Fighters go... I want to see if Eldis has more jobs for me now that I'm Protector. If not, we'll head up to Aldvron, and there, we gotta deal with the guy that's in the rat in the pot. Do I have anything to sell? Nope. Yeah, no. Nothing to sell. Do have 710 gold, which is nice. Could have more. I think I I haven't yet hit 2,000 concurrently in this game. I am here for all orders. Olaf the Easterner has seen an orc outlaws near his farm. I have a contract from Duke Dren himself to investigate the orcs at a Daedric ruin. Alduin always reminds you of Alduin. See, Alduin. Uh. And Skyrim always makes me think Alderaan in Morrowind. The orcs of the Daedric Ruin, Duke Vedem Dren, Vedem Dren himself, gave us a contract to take care of these problems. Go to Alof's farm, northeast of Pelagiad, and just north of Arvel Plantation. Alof can tell you where the orcs are and what needs to be done. All right, so Alof's farm, northeast of Pelagiad. Alright, and just north of the Arvel Plantation. I think I... Excuse me. I think I know where that is. But I don't know if I'm ready to deal with orcs that are in a... Uh, in a Daedric Ruin yet. So we are going to make our way up to Aldvrun, finally. Actually, we've been there once before. Now the question becomes... What do you guys think? Should we walk to Old Run? We haven't done that yet. We haven't walked all the way up there. We've gone as far as Caldera. 
or do we take the Silt Strider? What do you think, Jacob? Should we walk there or Silt Strider? And as far as the other guys farm, that's probably right over there. Strider? Alright, we can take the Strider. We'll probably walk back. I do like filling out the map. It is it is nice. And I can always use some extra training, fighting things on the way back and stuff. And there's some fun quests that are out and about in the world. Um, in fact, I think there's a quest I have near Ald Run. Let's see. Options. Quests. Here we go. I always forget that there, there's a button for actual... There is a quest log in this game. It's just really, really hidden. The Beauty and the Bandit. Okay, I've already completed that quest, so options, quests, Umbra, yep, Island to the North, Fighters Guild, Aloft of the Orcs, Fighters Guild, Silence, Frog Toad, Fighters Guild, the Necromancer of Voss. So I have three things out for Fighters Guild, Imperial Cult, Missing Limeware, does a little story, Mages Guild, I'm not a Necromancer, Mysterious Clearings and Vec, the Road to Mournhold, Beauty and Okay, so I don't actually have the quests that I thought I did. But we are going to go up to Alderaan. Indeed, it, it is it is a pretty clever thing. Uh, travel to Alderaan. Alderaan? Alderaan? I don't know. It's one of the others. Oh, look, it's a nice, clear day. Also, whatever mod I... Was that a sheep? Did I just heard a sheep baa loudly? Alright. I know, it's no sandstorm. It's pretty miraculous. Um, we're not going to join the House of Rhetoran yet. But we will. Sorry. No itches. Uh, so the rat in the pot. We want to talk. There's an Argonian here. Then we need to. There's someone watching. Me. Shut up. I can tell. Hmm. How permanent of a silencing do we need? Hmm. Where is he? Tongue toad. You have to mentally prepare yourself for tomorrow. Well, I wish you luck. <laughs> that endeavor. I am not doing much for Thanksgiving. I'm just going to be... Just me and my roommate at my apartment probably playing some board games and... Uh, I'm having some mashed potatoes. It's going to be satisfying to me. We'll see you later, Jacob. Thanks so much for the follow. Hope you'll join us on the next stream, which may be tomorrow night. Uh, but for sure Friday night. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you on another one. Tongue Toad. Yes, I'm Tongue Toad. What? The Fighters Guild sent you to kill me? What? Why would they want me dead? Uh, I'm not going to kill them outright. I just want to talk with them. <laughs> what if I were to leave town? Would you let me go and report that I had fled? I'm not gonna just straight murder the guy. Yes, I'm gonna let Jim leave town. Thank you, Safia. I will. I will leave soon. May Stendar watch over you. All right. There it is. There's the fog. Uh, so we did our quests and old run here. Uh, I want to go back to Pelagiad, that area. 
fastest way to get there would actually probably be take the Silk Strider to say to Neen. Yeah. Walking back doesn't make sense right now. So let's perform another Fighter's Guild contract. And... Whose shadow is that? It's not your shadow again, is it? Are they doubling shadows? Oh, I'm gonna have to go to Balmora and then to save me? That's gonna... It's gonna be like... Just in trips today... Actually, here's what we'll do. Use the Amulet of Recall, go back to Balmora, and then from here, we can get to Silt Strider to say to Neen, or we can just run to Bal. We can run to Pelagiad. It's not that far. Let's save money, too. Though eventually I will need some time to recharge this amulet. Actually, we're getting to be about the two hour limit here. Which is a good episode, I think. About, about two hours. We're going to get just past the Ashlands here. I think I'm going to call the stream there for tonight. We'll probably be back tomorrow with more stuff. Uh, but I don't want to overdo it. Two hours seems to be like a good amount to stream. Get a good amount of content out. And, uh, yeah. But if I go overboard, like I've done in the past where I'm streaming many, many hours a day, I'll burn out. So and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I have in the past, and I don't plan on doing it again. So we're going to stop it here, right at the edge of the Skating Isles. We're going to save. So thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. And uh, hope to catch you guys on the next one. See ya.